What's up guys? I'm back. It's been a while since I posted a video, so I do apologize for that. But today, I'm making a video that a lot of you guys have requested. I get a lot of messages through Instagram and Facebook asking about how much money we really make flipping phones. So, I made a little presentation and I'm gonna share with you guys the uh, whole fees through eBay. You know, local listings are pretty easy, but I'm gonna explain that all in this uh, screen recording through my laptop. I hope you guys get something out of it. And yeah, let's dig right into it. All right, guys. So this is actually the presentation that I just made really quick. It's two really easy scenarios. I just made up numbers, you know, for uh, just really easy, simple examples. So let's get right into it. So scenario number one is going to be local sales. And for the example, I picked an iPhone 7 and we paid $200 for it. And so pretty much a local sale is super simple. It's ridiculously simple. So I bought it for $200 and I sold it in the local marketplace for let's say $350. So we do the $350 sale price, subtract the $200 buy price, and you have a $150 net profit. So you could deduct, you know, gas that you spent, repairs, etc., and you could just subtract that from your net profit, and that will leave you with um, your total actual net profit. Uh, local sales, super easy. I like local sales mostly because you get cash on hand, and it's just super, you know, it's convenient. You get the cash, you could go buy more phones with that cash flow. The second one, this is the most requested um, scenario, and everybody always DMs me asking, hey, how much do you really make, you know, off of eBay? I hear, I hear that they take away a lot of money, etc. So, we're going to do the same exact phone, same exact sale price, so we buy an iPhone 7 on, you know, wherever we buy it from, and we're going to list it on eBay for $350. But, these are the fees that eBay takes. eBay takes 10% of the total sales price, and they also take 10% of your shipping price. Unless it's free shipping, they just, you know, take it off. But let's say you have a $3 shipping price, they're going to take 10% of the $3. PayPal takes 2.9% plus 30 cents per transaction. So that, that adds up if you know, you're selling a $500 phone, a $400 phone, it all adds up. And then postage, sh here's your shipping cost plus materials that you use like bubble mailers, etc. So those are all the fees that you have to pay when using eBay, an online source. Which the price you pay for millions of people looking at your item and you know, being able to sell it, it's, I, I personally think it's worth it. But we're going to go through the numbers so you guys see how much we actually make. So with eBay, we're going to sell it for $350. The eBay fee is $35. And then I didn't, I'm just going to just pretend I put free shipping or I'm, I didn't actually even add it on here. But it's $35 just for the $350 sale price of the phone. And then you could add the 10% of your shipping price. Um, unless you do the free shipping, which I recommend doing free shipping always. It's it looks better and you know the cost isn't too high. PayPal is going to take ten dollars and forty five cents, and for my example, I just put that the shipping cost was three fifty for easy numbers. Uh, you guys can check out my shipping video. Um, it kind of gives you some numbers and an example of how to ship phones, etc. But my total fees plus shipping is $48.95. That's $48.95 that is going to be taken away from my pocket, and I'm going to have less of a net profit. And as you guys can tell, the local sales, I don't pay any fees, just my gas. So as you guys will be able to see, my net profit is going to be $101.05. So we have the 350 sale price subtracted by the $200 purchase price minus the fees gives me the 10105. So as you guys can probably tell, the uh, net profit through eBay compared to a local listing, you know, you're out 50 to 48, 49, 50 dollars. Um, I'm not bashing eBay. I think eBay is a great super good 
um, platform. I'm, I list most of my phones on eBay. I do the occasional local sale. But yeah, that's, that's what I do. I use eBay. And um, I just wanted to show you guys how much we really make. And I'm actually going to also show you guys an app that I think is very convenient. So let's go move into that. What's up, guys? So you guys just saw that presentation. Hopefully that helped some of you guys know what we're actually making and stuff. But anyways, this right here is the app that I'm talking about. It is called eBay Fees. Um, I find it to be super helpful. You can get it on the Apple Store, you know, the App Store, whatever. But I find it to be super helpful because when I get, you know, a message from somebody saying they want this amount for their iPhone, I always look at the comps on eBay. Then I go into this app, I plug in what I could sell it for, plus what they want for it, and then I'll see how much money um, I'm making. If it's only five, ten, fifteen dollars, I'm not going to do it. So I negotiate a better price, and it's just super helpful because it gives me, just you know, it, it gives me an estimate of what I'm going to be making on the phone. So I think it's super helpful. You guys should definitely check it out. Um, it's a tool that I use every time I'm going to buy a phone, and I'm going to list it on eBay just so I know that range of what I might be making. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. There's going to be more videos coming out. Uh, this channel isn't just going to be about phone flipping. I'm going to do a lot of other business videos. I have a lot of stuff going on in my life right now. And that's the reason I haven't been uploading so much. But um, I'm going to make you know tips. I'll probably do more videos of what I do and stuff like that. But uh, I really like the phone flipping business. It's something that is, it's not, I wouldn't say easy, but it is, it, it, it's, it's worth it. You can make a good amount of money doing it, and it's something that I enjoy. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it one more time, and thank you for watching.